Hey there, I'm Dale with Pacific Sun Technologies and today I'll be talking to you about Trina solar panels and why we feel they're a great cost-effective way of going solar. Trina Solar is the largest manufacturer of solar modules in the world and in 2015 they shipped 4.55 gigawatts of panels which was 17% more than the runner-up Canadian Solar. In 2016 Trina was named the world's most bankable solar panel manufacturer and in that same year they broke the world record for multi-crystalline solar panel efficiency. Trina Solar is a Chinese company but so is Canadian Solar. Now, given the name of both these companies, that might seem strange, but the rule of thumb is if a solar panel manufacturer's name makes you think their panels are made in a country that is in China, then they are probably made in China. Trina Solar has 21 offices worldwide and they employ over 14,000 people. They are based in Shenzhou, which is just one hour from Shanghai. Trina Solar is a tier one manufacturer. Trina is a very well respected name in the solar industry. They have produced quality tier one panels that are installed around the world. They have a 10 year product warranty that is standard for tier one panels. While there are other tier one manufacturers that offer 12, 15, and in some rare cases a 25 year product warranty, Trina's panels are of a low cost. Trina is a leader in sustainable solar panel manufacturing. The Silicon Valley Toxics Coalition produces a report each year on how bad solar panel manufacturers are, and Trina Solar turns out to be pretty damn good. They were the world leader in that report in 2014, which measures the environmental and social responsibilities, and in 2015, they took third place. The good news is they didn't slip from their first place because they grew worse, but rather they improved on their score for the previous year, but were overtaken by two companies that managed to improve more than them. Now Trina has this pretty sweet panel called the Honey Panel. When Trina introduced its Honey Panel in 2012, it was the world leader in multi-crystalline efficiency. Well, it still kind of is. Trina named it the Honey Panel on account of how they wanted it to be in the sweet spot between cutting edge technology and cost effectiveness. Trina also came out with the Trina Smart Panel, which has built-in DC optimizers for improved performance. Now DC optimizers are little bundles of electronics that are attached to solar panels and enable them to act more intelligently and improve their overall output. So they simply live up to their name and optimize performance. These can be attached to panels when they are installed, but Trina Smart panels have DC optimizers produced by Tigo Energy built into the panels themselves, which makes installation a lot easier and faster. DC optimizers generally don't offer enough of a performance boost to be economically worthwhile for many installations at this current time but they can be very useful under the right circumstances such as trying to get the maximum output of solar generation from a limited amount of roof space. Trina has a home battery storage system called Trina Best, but it does not appear to be available in the United States. They may become available in the future, but currently Trina does not appear to have a committed major resource to home energy storage production. My impression is Trina is simply keeping a finger in that pie for now. And should they later decide to go into home energy storage in a big way, they might just pull out a plum. Our conclusion on Trina panels? They're a good choice. I have no problem recommending Trina panels as they have an effective combination of price and reliability. While there are panels out there I consider likely to be more reliable, you will have to pay a premium for them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share this post. Be sure to tune in next week for another solar module review.